Right, away we go again. As I say, this uh, mower spins at a thousand RPM. So, it does tend to, if it's a little bit, obviously it's had a few whacks and wallops over his sort of eight years of life. And it's a little bit out of balance on the disc, so you get a little bit of vibration, but as long as things don't come off, I think you're quite safe, but I wouldn't want one of them discs to come through the side of the cab, I know that much. Right. Uh, we've, uh, we always seem to well, we seem to do more and more hay each year. <coughs> well, I ain't gonna complain. Keeps me out of mischief. Keeps my brain busy. I'm going to put the cattle in here later on, I've got 18 steers and heifers to go in here when it greens up a bit and Jason's going to put his 30 odd ewes and that in here so we can get these, uh, they'll get on up, get, they'll eat the hedge back and that, keep it tidy. Right. It's 50 acre field this is so that should keep them through the summer. As you can see, it's got some good fences on it. Oh, somebody else wants me. Hiya, Jackie. An hour away, okay. Right, what can you do for an hour? Let's see. Uh, what's your next job with the tractor? Um, is your dad's mower still there? It's over in, yeah, it's still there, is it? Um, now what am I thinking of doing? Yeah, give him a ring and see if he's gonna use that today. And if he says no, so ask him if it'd be all right for us to use it. All right, okay. And if, if it is all right, can you put it on your tractor? All right, I'll have to do this high back on my own, but you know, the next fields are nice and uh, nice and level, so might run two mowers on there, but you might be bail cart, we'll sort out, yeah, it might be Jason running it, but you know, all right. All right then, Jack, okay, I'll speak to you later. Sorry? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, do that, yeah. Yeah, if Kevin don't mind coming as well, we'll load that lorry as well, yeah. There's two load, there's over two load there anyway, and he ain't finished bailing yet. Yeah, all right, mate. All right, Jackie. Cheers then, mate. Bye, 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 bye. That's young Jack. Um, He's going to take the, uh, well, get the lorry drivers to take the two straw wagons up there and load them up with hay. So, uh, that'll get two of the loads off the field, so we can get them put in the barn, then I'll get them put in tomorrow morning while they're still all in bed. I'll wake up about half five this time of year. So, uh, that'll give me something to do after I put the washing in the washing machine. Yeah, I have that job to do now. Yeah. 
Right, that's the outside row done. Now I can start up and down. That make it a bit easier. I'm getting used to the Arian gearbox now, to be honest with you. It isn't, you know, it's quite, I'd rather drive it in manual, to be honest, and let it drive itself in auto. I think, uh, I think it's a lot, lot smoother box using the manual system. The auto is just a little bit, I think, uh, jerky for my liking. I might just uh, go around once more. I don't want to turn on this, um, let it down, you muppet. See, the old legend's pushing the wrong bloody buttons. Yeah, there's a bit of hay I cut the other week. I don't want to run on well, the other week, the other day. That's going to be bailed tomorrow. So I don't want to be running all over that and run it down. So I'm going to put another row round it so I can turn a little bit sooner. But no, the Arian is uh, <coughs> it's a fair tractor. I'm quite pleased with it, to be honest. It's a good all-rounder, nice little basic tractor. But I must admit, the parts can get a bit tasty for it, if you want any bits for it. It wants a lift pump at the minute, because I've got a leaky lift pump. So, um, yeah, they can be a little bit naughty on parts but it's a good good little um everyday tractor takes the hours off of the uh bigger ones like the fast tracks so they last longer but no um yeah life's life's pretty good and i'm quite happy now so i've had a lot of shit and shit thrown at me in the last sort of four or five months um, which I ain't gonna go into but um, I'm over that now and ready to um, embrace life once again I'm driving my kids mad because I've, I've more or less research, re gone back to when I was about sort of 30 odd I'm a bit of a handful now to be honest with you I'm always pulling their legs yeah or their underpants up around their ear rolls, giving them a good old wedgie. Uh, poor old Jack, he's ever so nervous. If you give him a pair of jump leads and get him to go and jump something, oh, you can't have to ask. He's just so allergic to jump leads. You know, and you only have to drop something behind him, like a lump of steel or something, when he's putting it, putting it on. Oh, he nearly has kittens, he does. As babies, the boy does. Uh, <coughs> I must be I'm a bit of a bugger now, so, you know, if you can, you have to, don't you? <coughs> oh, this is a rough old bit here. Now we've got a new dog, we've got a little puppy, they've called it Dexter. So his name's Dexter and he's uh, busily winding all the other, we've got three collies now. Um, there's my buster, Jason's Shep, and now we've got Dexter as well. He belongs to Chloe and Jason, but oh, he's a lovely little fella. Uh, and Charlie, Charlie the Jack Russell. Uh, well, no, he's a handsome little man, he is. Uh, but he doesn't have to give them other dogs some stick. He's got a heart of a lion, that dog has. That little Dexter. We've got barn owls as well, but they ain't in me box. They're gone in the flaming stack of straw. So I've got barn owls in me stack of straw. <coughs> so... Um... I've had to leave a load of, load of uh, um, OSR straw there because it's got barn owls in it. So that'll have to stay there till they fledge and go. And uh, then we can see about getting that took in.
Right, I'm going to shut you off and save a bit of cat battery for something else. We've got some young pheasants in here. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, we'll catch you later. I'm going to listen to me music a bit. Okay, take care, have a good one. Still going. I think I'm about getting towards halfway now. So it's uh, four o'clock, so I ought to be done here by about eight, I think. Six or eight. Oh. Cutting this feels like being in an abusive relationship getting the shit kicked out of you. I'm going mean, well battered and bruised tonight, I am. I've hit my ribs about three times on the side of this damn seat. But it's good to be cutting. Nice to see Jamie, he's meant to be coming back at this end of the week, either today or tomorrow, well tomorrow I believe he's coming. Uh, good to see him again. This is his tractor, so... <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
we'll have a tractor to drive again then.